Hello, my name is Matthew Penning here with another lecture snippet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Google Chrome on Ubuntu 14.04. And I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to show you how to do it through the web browser, and then I'm also going to show you how to do it through command line in the event that you want to do it through command line. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox, which is our default browser here. And I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to chrome.google.com. I'll go ahead and maximize that. Now from chrome.google.com, it's just going to redirect you to google.com slash chrome. So I could have done that as well. I'm going to go ahead and choose the download now button. And then I get to pick my distribution. And I'm running the 64-bit. So I'll go ahead and click on that and choose to accept and install. Now it's going to go ahead and download here. And you can see here is my little screen here to save it. I'm going to go ahead and choose... If I wanted to install it through the Software Center, I could just pick this right here, the Software Center, and then it would open up the Software Center, and you can just click Install, and everything will be taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and choose to save the file instead, and I'll go ahead and hit OK. OK, so it's downloaded the deb file that I needed to install it. If you wanted the actual direct link for it, you can hover over the retry download and you can see in the bottom of my URL, I have the actual URL to download the Debian package to actually install it here on Ubuntu. And you can see it's the dl.google.com and you'll see it's a forward, or forward slash Linux and then direct and then Google Chrome stable current and it's going to be AMD 64 for their 64-bit version. So, if I wanted to download this through the command line, I could do it a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. Let's go ahead and type in terminal. And what I could do is, I could paste that URL if I had it in here, and then just simply use the wget command. So it would be just wget and then that URL that we saw there to download it. And if I hit enter, you can see it's beginning the process of actually downloading the file onto my computer. And that should only take a moment to download. And then what I can do now is, instead of using the software center through that first installation, if I want to continue to use command line, then I can go ahead and just install it with the Debian package command, and then install all of the dependencies using the apt-get command. So we'll go ahead and let this finish, and then I'll show you those two commands as well. Okay, so it's downloaded already, and so now what I can do is just go ahead, I'll run an ls command to show you that I have it here. It's called Google Chrome Stable Current AMD64.deb, and so now all I need to do is run the dp, actually I'll run sudo in front of that, dpkg for Debian package, we're going to use the dash i option for install, and then if I start typing in Google and hit tab, it'll fill in the rest for me. I can go ahead and hit enter. It's going to ask for my password, so I'll go ahead and type that in. All right, it's going to begin the installation of that Debian package. Now I'm going to get a couple errors on here because there are some unmet dependencies that I need to install. So I'll let this finish and then I'll continue once it's done. Okay, so what you can see is, it says I have dependency problems. It says leaving unconfigured. And so what I need to do is install those additional software packages that need to be installed. And I can simply do that by using sudo apt-get. And we're going to use the dash f option, which is to fix the repair. And I'll just go ahead and do install. And I can go ahead and hit enter. And what you'll notice is it's going to go ahead and grab whatever dependencies are needed. And it's going to ask me if I want to install them. And the answer would be yes. It tells me what it's going to install. Uh, this lib app indicator 1 and uh, 7. It looks like it's what it needs. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit Y and hit enter. And it's going to begin the process of downloading and installing all of the dependencies. Now I should see in here somewhere where it's going to actually talk about Google Chrome. There it is. Setting up Google Chrome stable. And so it's going to go ahead and set that up for me now that I have the dependencies. All right, it's done, and it was just those real, really those three simple commands, the wget command, the debian package command, and then the apt-get command to actually get this to work. I will also show you 
And by the way, if you want those commands, they will be on my website under lecturesnippets.com, and you can view the post for this, which will be in the YouTube video link. I'm going to go ahead and close this now, and just to show you, I have Chrome. Go ahead and type in Chrome, and you can see Google Chrome here loading up. Now I also want to show you that if I go to the Debian package itself directly and double click it, I can choose to open it within the software center. And if I do that, I can then go ahead and just simply hit install through this package. And that would have also worked if you plan on using the GUI to install this. And you can see now here it says reinstall. If I didn't have it installed, it would have just simply said install. So that's an easier way to do it if you don't want to use the command line. Hope this helps. Check out my website at lecturesimpus.com. Thanks for viewing.